Hello guys, welcome back to Tutorials Point. Today we are going to learn about a very important topic of the muscle that is light and dark band present in the muscle. Now let's see what is this light and dark bands. Actually our muscle is made up of mainly the straightened one is made up of two bands a light band and the dark band. The dark band is called as A band and light band is called as I band. Let's learn why these uh, the bands are called as A or I band. Actually, this A word came from the N isotropic and I came from the isotropic. Now, what do we mean by the A isotropic and isotropic? And as it is called as N isotropic because it have different in uh, refractive index in different places and isotropic have same refractive index in different planes that is why they have called or given a different name a for an isotropic i for isotropic now look at this picture this light blue line is showing the thin filament as you can see these blue lines are very thinner these red lines are thick that is why it is called as thick filament now this myo this is a myofibril a unit of the functional unit of this myofibril is sarcomere let's learn about this sarcomere in detail now in this picture you can see these blue lines we have already learned is a thin filament which is actually made up of actin protein this thick the red one is called as the thick filament which is made up of myosin protein. This whole structure is actually an arrangement of this thin and thick filaments. Let's learn about these bands. These bands actually are deciding the functional unit of this myofibril. Let's learn. Now, you can see in this picture these red and light band is actually making a pattern. Now, a place where only this thick filament is present you can see here only thick filament is present there is no overlapping of red and blue line no overlapping of thick and thin line only this thick red is present this zone is called as H zone actually it is also having a M line which we will learn in other slides now the zone in which there is an overlapping of both thin and thick lines this zone this zone here you can see not the thin neither the thick is present separately but they are overlapping with each other so this portion where you can see the overlapping this is known as a band we know a band means a isotropic band which have different refractive index at different planes now a zone is present in which only thin filament is present you can see here only thin filament is present this is called as isotropic band means having the same refractive index at different planes so the plane which have overlapping of both the thin and thick filament is called as a band which have only the thin filament is called as I band a band and a zone which contains only thick filament is called as H zone now next very important thing is that Z disc you can see a zigzag pattern a zigzag line is actually cutting this thin filament from the middle here also you can see a zigzag line is cutting the actin filament this zigzag line is called as Z disc here also Z disc Z disc and a part of myofibril between one Z disc to another Z disc is called as sarcomere which is actually the functional unit of this myofibril now you can see here which we have already talked the position or the line which is passing through this thick filament is called as M line. So in this video we have learned about the bands 
and structures of this thick and thin filament. In the other video, we will talk about the proteins present in this thick and thin filaments. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.